Hello, I am Flash Isaac. This is Flash Ninas. You are now watching 120 Days to Jam. This is a series containing 120 videos to prepare you for jam. Each episode of the series contains introduction, outline, detailed class, questions, and homework for you. The questions and homework are from the Flash Learners Jam application. Install Flash Learners Jam app today to access all the free features. Click activate and scroll to buy activation key to get access to the golden features. Don't be scared, the app is affordable. Do you have trust issues? Simply chat me directly on Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, and Telegram for installation and activation instruction. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to take off. This is episode number 12 of the 120 Days to Jump Physics with Flash IZ. In this episode, we shall be taking a look at resolution of vectors. Ah! We've dealt with relative velocity, scalar, and vectors. And I heard that you have problem with resolution of vectors. Why? Why? When the flash is here, how will you have problem with resolution of vectors? Why? In mathematics or in quantities, we can deal with quantities in two dimensions or three dimensions. Two dimensions is referred to as 2D and three dimensions is referred to as 3D. Look at something. If you are watching movie on your phone, or as you are watching this video, if I do like this, my finger is supposed to be pointing towards you, which is outside the screen. But it won't point outside the screen. The train will take it to side, or this side, or up. So it doesn't have to. It doesn't come outside. This is because your screen is two dimension. Two dimension only has the y as is or the s as is then here is negative y as is here is negative s as is this is what we refer to as vertical direction vertical this is horizontal so this is negative vertical down negative horizontal two dimension just s and y as is either this way this way this way or that way. But dealing with three dimensions, we have the third axis, which is the Z axis, going like this. Take a look at your wall. Your wall is like this S, Y, and the Z is pointing out towards you. If you watch all those uh, 3D games or you watch 3D movies, you use 3D glass, you notice that things basically fly out of the screen. They are coming towards you. Someone can just Take a knife and do like this, you get some shock because it's coming towards you. So that is the Z as its dimension. For this level, we are restricted to only two dimensions to resolve vectors in two dimensions. Since vectors are in two dimensions, or we are dealing with two dimensional vectors, and if something is going this way, like this, we will say vertical direction. So let's say an object going up two meters per second. We say, okay, we have a velocity of 2 meters per second in the vertical direction. If an object is going this way, let's say 4 meters per second, we will say that this object, 4 meters per second, to the, going towards the horizontal. Hey, but you have something like this. Like this. 2 meters per second. This guy... It's not in the vertical axis, it's not in the horizontal axis. So it's not in Y, it's not in S. But we cannot leave it like this. We need to take it to either S or Y axis. Not either. We'll take it to S axis, take it to Y axis. Try to take these vectors to their components, vertical and horizontal. That is resolution of vectors. Vectors that are not in the vertical or horizontal. Try to take them to those directions. I'm trying to collect them. So getting vectors in their vertical direction or in their uh, horizontal direction, that is what to do with resolution of vectors. 
Now, how do we resolve vectors? Or what do you know when it comes to resolution of vectors? For this, this is inclined. This is certainly an angle. If we say this angle is 30 degrees, for example, it means this vector is 2 meters per second at 30 degrees to the horizontal. 30 degrees to the horizontal. So angles are mostly formed with the horizontal or to the horizontal. And when you are given any vector, you must resolve it to the vertical direction. You also resolve it to the horizontal direction. So it is in both directions. This guy is in both directions. It is in horizontal. It is also in vertical. You first of all resolve it to vertical. Then you resolve to horizontal. If vectors are moving in the same direction, they sum up. If they are moving in different direction, you subtract them. Look at this arrow. This shows this direction, this direction, and this. You notice that the three are moving in the same direction. If you push this one here, the arrow is facing here. If you push it here, the arrow is facing up, which is also in this direction. Anytime you are resolving vectors and you are wondering, when should I use cos and when should I use sine? When you are opening up the angle, you use sine. When you are closing the angle, you use cos. What is opening and what is closing? If I say resolve this 2 meters per second to the horizontal or to the s axis, you are simply closing. You are resolving, you are pushing it down to the s axis. You are closing this 30 degrees. So since you are closing, it is 2 cos 30 degrees. If I say resolve this to the vertical direction or to the y axis as you are pushing it this way this angle is opening you are opening it therefore it is sine here is 2 sine 30 degrees which means if i have something like this and here is let's say 60 degrees here is 2 meters per second if i am resolving this guy to the y axis or to the vertical direction, I am closing the angle. I'm pushing it this way. The angle is closing. Since the angle is closing, it is 2 cos 60 degrees. If I am resolving it to the horizontal or to the s axis, I am up, as I'm drawing this thing here, come down, come down, come down. You notice that the angle is opening. I'm drawing it, the angle is expanding. So here is 2 sine 60 degrees. So your mentality should not be that if you are resolving to uh, to the horizontal, it must be cos, and to the vertical, it must be sine. No, 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 no. It depends on where you are, um, the angle, whether you are opening or you are closing the angle. Dealing with vectors, you will be asked to find the magnitude and direction. Magnitude of any vector is that particular number that gives us the effect of the two forces together. If I give you like this, like this, here is 2 newton upward, this is force, here is, let's say 4 newtons to this way. You need to look for one force that will give you the same effect as both of these forces acting together. That is the magnitude, that is the result. So the magnitude is usually this single force, or when you cross it like this, this your hypotenuse will represent the magnitude. From right angle to triangle, using triangles of vectors, we know that hypotenuse is equals the square root of opposite square plus adjacent square. Similarly, if you are resolving vector, the resultant is resultant of vectors is referred to arrow is equals the square root of the vertical vector squared. After you resolve to the vertical, your result square is plus the horizontal squared. In this vector, the vertical component is 2 sine 30. Horizontal is 2 cos 30. So resultant is equals the result of your vertical 2 sine 30. 2 sine 30 degree is 1. 
1 squared plus 2 cos 30 degrees is root 3. 1 squared plus root 3 squared, the square root of everything should give you 2. This is the resultant, and resultant is the same thing as magnitude of the vector. Let's take this question as an appetizer. The diagram above shows two vectors. Two vectors, C's going this way, 8 going this way. What is the value of the resultant vector? What is the value of the resultant vector? That is the single vector moving this way is the resultant vector. In this vector, you notice that we already have the vertical component. We already have the horizontal components. Both components are available. We therefore don't need to resolve anything to the vertical or to the horizontal since they are already given. It is only when they have not been resolved that we need to resolve. Since they already gave us, the resultant will simply be the magnitude of the vertical squared plus horizontal squared. This is the magnitude. Vertical squared plus horizontal squared, the square root of everything. And that will give you Vy is 6. 6 squared plus Vs is 8 plus 8 squared. That should give you 10 newtons. 6 squared is 36 plus 8 squared is 64. 36 plus 64 is 100 and the square root of 100 is 10. So 10 newtons is the magnitude. So this is it as an appetizer. In the next episode, we shall start solving standard vector questions. I trust you understand so far. See you in the next episode.